？有没有人听说过边缘计算，或者正在做边缘计算？ Please raise your hand if you are doing edge computing. And how many of you heard of Cube Edge project, or how many of you are using Cube Edge? Oh, so not many are using it. So today, I would like to uh, give you a general introduction about this project, and I uh, hope you can go to our website for more information. So I would like to start my presentation. Uh, Self-introduction, I'm Monzo Feng from Huawei. And uh, now I'm leading Cube Edge project. So actually, I already asked you these questions. Uh, I'm sure you are interested in edge computing. So I will go through the main content directly. First of all, edge computing is a very hot domain after cloud computing. There are special benefits with edge computing. Of course, there are also challenges. Uh, first, the network is not really stable uh, between the edges. Sometimes it's a public network or some private networks, and uh, there's uh, limited bandwidth. And all the nodes and the devices on the edge is in a large number. And if you are in the scenario uh, of industrial control, the, there's a heterogeneous hardware and the protocols. And uh, also the devices on edge uh, is quite small, so the resource is uh, constrained. And the um, maintenance cost is a challenge. But your uh, data uh, request uh, can be uh, sent to the edge and uh, um, come back quite quickly, so you can achieve data locality and the security. Compared with the cloud computing, it's more secure. About Qubit project, and there are several pieces of key information. Qubit targets to edge computing with Kubernetes. In March this year, Cube Edge is um, accepted by CNCF as a sandbox project, and we're incubating this project. So the main uh, feature is to achieve um, synergy between cloud and edge. So our uh, main idea is that Edge is the extension of cloud. A lot of uh, vendors already have uh, existing and strong service on cloud. So if you can connect the cloud and the, the edge, users can enjoy more comprehensive service and uh, also enjoy the fast and uh, localized uh, service on edge. Yesterday, we released a uh, coverage Point, uh, 1.0 version, uh, we already had four minor releases. And in our white paper, it's uh, uh, listed as reference architecture. And now there are over 100 contributors in our project. Uh, or I should say over 100 people um, have contributed to our project. There are also a lot of companies contributing, including cloud companies in China, such as um, uh, China Mobile, and also international companies, such as in Intel, they are all our contributors. This is the community uh, activity in the past six months. 
The, uh, data on the left is um, quite small, but uh, generally speaking, uh, it's quite active, and uh, the level of activity is uh, increasing. And the 1.0 version uh, and uh, the previous release in introduced the support for some edge devices, and I will give you more details. This is our vision and uh, uh, mission or our goals. Uh, as I already mentioned, this is uh, the edge computing platform based on Kubernetes. So we hope we can use the primitive uh, method to manage the nodes on the cloud. So we hope we use, can adopt the same method to manage the nodes distributed on the uh, edge and um, as well as the applications on the edge and as well as the connected devices. We hope this kind of management is uh, um, can can be used across different fields. So that means including cloud or edge. And uh, we also would like to manage KPI. It should uh, follow the uh, design style of Kubernetes, and uh, we also need to support Kubernetes primitive a native API. And uh, in terms of uh, scale, we would support massive number of uh, nodes and uh, devices. This is uh, the latest cubage architecture. Uh, so the, the edge part is uh, enlarged. The part of cloud is uh, presented quite simply. Uh, the main controller is edge controller. Its main function is uh, to do shadow management uh, on edge. For example, your uh, uh, node is um, uh, not on um, edge, but the pod is um, scheduled to the edge. So uh, we um, use the edge computing and the use edge controller uh, to write the latest information of these applications to Kubernetes server. So other uh, components can see the pod and the node and their configure mode, so they can be processed uh, using the same method as on cloud. So in order to achieve the coordination between cloud and edge, edge controller uh, will send the uh, message to cloud hub. Cloud Hub and the Edge Hub uh, are based on WebSocket. We know when you create connection on WebSocket, it can achieve two-way communication. Uh, so the nodes on Edge can be in a private network. Uh, you don't need a public IP as long as you can access the Cloud Hub. You can consistently communicate towards cloud, uh, and it's both ways. In terms of edge device management, we uh, achieve device management or device twin. In uh, some edge computing platform, there's also a concept of device twin. So when you have a device, you can control the device through device chain, and you can map it on the cloud. And the, the, we can change uh, some um, commands on the device chain to control the edge device. Uh, so we achieved the, the mapper decoupling of mapper because on edge there are many different types of device 
and um, a lot of a lot of scenario use MQTT, but other devices use Bluetooth or model pass or OPC UA, which is industrial control protocol, and uh, many other protocols. So uh, device vendors may have new protocols. Uh, in Coop Edge, we also embed Bluetooth, model bus. Uh, of course, MQTT uh, is um, embedded already, and HCO. And uh, if a, a device vendor would like to add more protocol, it, it, they can create a mapper. Uh, so they can have uh, abstraction of the communication. And uh, now, currently, MQTT uh, is communicating with Event Bus. And, and uh, Event Bus is MQTT client. It can also communicate with the uh, device on edge. So this is um, uh, the implementation of KubeNet. Uh, after some analysis, we find uh, native KubeNet uh, has, has a lot of uh, functions. For example, the uh, pod is not really needed on edge, and a lot of uh, built-in. Uh, storage uh, is also not necessary, so we decided to rewrite uh, lightweight Kubernet Kubernetes. Uh, there's also meta, meta um, manager which can uh, consistently manage the metadata. And uh, lightweight storage is seen to light. So after synchronization, the uh, meta manager can write the uh, message in the uh, lightweight storage. We know Kubernetes uh, doesn't have consistent uh, consistency uh, of metadata. So if there's a um, uh, break down uh, the uh, order from the cloud uh, will not be recovered but after um, our consistency and uh, even if in this connected uh, scenario after the node is recovered uh, the port and other uh, data can be uh, carried over and the device twin is responsible for controlling the information of all the devices and uh, a copy is saved on the uh, consistent storage of edge. Event bus is to control HTTP. Some devices are exposed, uh, the portal is exposed through HTTP. Uh, so in this box, edge part, uh, it's a one binary, and uh, the uh, overall memory is uh, 10 megabytes. Uh, so if even if your memory is only 128 uh, megabytes, it can be run. So the resource consumption is not just this component. Uh, the MQTT broker and the Docker supported in the first version. Then um, the um, resource consumption may be over 100 megabytes. And then now we are doing the support for container D, and uh, we will continue to support more lightweight runtime. And uh, we also introduced a, a key feature, that's Edge Mesh. It's um, originated from the concept of service mesh. And the main purpose is to uh, achieve the data communication capacity uh, across Edge. 
in the early version uh, uh, we uh, could only uh, access the IP portal or URR. We couldn't have a uh, service discovery, uh, etc. Actually, Mesh, uh, Edge Mesh uh, is uh, the edge converting uh, service on Kubernetes. And uh, in current version 1.0, uh, we can't have cross-network uh, edge-to-edge communication. So the 1.0 version relies on the uh, connection or connectability of the various uh, edges. And uh, uh, then we are going to uh, connect private networks and uh, also the communication with the cloud. It's going to be a very important way of communication. And also in 1.0 version, in the early version of QVEDGE, uh, the more support was uh, given to uh, edge device to CDN or other uh, station on edge with a strong computing power, there was no specific support. Uh, in the QEDGE architecture, each uh, connection is uh, directly connected with the uh, master. So when the node is um, broken uh, from the master, there is no capability for dynamic transfer. They have the requirement for the scalability of applications. So in 1.0 version, we introduced edge site. So we have synced Kubernetes master to the edge. And uh, after that, Club Hub and NG Hub is not that important anymore. And more importantly, for master, when it go down to edge, if master is in different network with node, how can we connect it? So in the later versions, we will support through edge mesh because edge mesh has just launched and edge site has also just launched, and they have not connected yet. In addition. This is a traditional uh, version, a uh, transitional version. So at that time, uh, we use this kind of a mode. But the problem is Docker consume a lot of uh, resources. So in the 1.0 version, we add the CRI interface back. And then we have the verification of container D integration verification. And now we are in the alpha version. You can have a try. And later, for the Docker tools, we will eliminate it. And uh, all will be supported by CRI. And uh, later, we will use uh, CRIO. So in terms of a resource consumption, it's lighter. Another one is the evaluation framework of what we have done. For example, uh, we haven't released all the data yet. Before 1.0 version, we have a framework for the performance, and this framework is pretty easy. We use two layers of Kubernetes 
the lower level is uh, Kubernetes. Every port will re uh, will regard it as edge node to simulate all the nodes in the edge. And uh, another one is independently deployed Kubernetes and uh, um, Kube Edge component on the cloud. So through these two layers, we can simulate a huge amount of edge node deployment. Actually, through our evaluation on the design for the communication between cloud and the edge, we use Edge Hub. At the edge, they can do a convergence of messages between nodes and synchronize it on cloud. So what's different from KBus is that the nodes connecting will be reduced. And in the function of Kubernetes, API servers communication data volume will influence its scalability. One way is to ensure the same amount of uh, connecting node and uh, you uh, ensure the data volume and to ensure the scalability. And second, if your communication um, package volume cannot be changed, then you ensure the long connection. You can also ensure scalability. So I think for Kube Edge, compared to native Kubernetes, it will have a better scalability. For this framework, it will validate our hypothesis. Currently, we have uh, some people from the community. They have tested 4,000 nodes, but it's only a reference. In terms of uh, performances, in terms of communication between cloud and uh, edge, we are using web socket. Uh, between Cloud Hub and Edge Hub, we are using WebSocket. And uh, we are studying in QUID protocol. Uh, we have a um, version based on QUID, but the performance is on evaluation. And in terms of performance, it will improve a little bit. Next is the application scenario. For Kube Edge, we use the core part of uh, Huawei Cloud Computation and uh, open make it open source apart from Kube Edge. We have the Huawei Cloud service, and the application is in a smart park. The main demand from the customer is that they want to do the facial recognition, and they can identify the people's ID. And uh, at the gate, they want to monitor the traffic of the park as well. and. Uh, they for the camera they do not use smart camera they are using traditional ip camera you use ip address you can read the video flow so overall application is pretty simple so we use facial recognition and the traffic flow and synchronize it to Edge. As we all know, at Edge, an original video flow have a big data volume. If you have an application on Edge, in the video frames, you only capture a small picture of a head side. You make a comparison, 
and the comparison is based on your business design and whether you want to build a big data cloud match or you just add it, make it on the edge. In the initial scenario, the client they use the central big data model in cloud. So their facial recognition is on cloud and for the edge they will catch a picture of a head size from the video and uh, upload to the code, uh, cloud. And based on the head image, um, they can do the um, face detection. Another case is a case for a CDN customer. And they are, it's not using each side. And the user, their main CDN is for non ordering of videos. Generally, the case is to send a video from central cloud to the edge. And uh, we slice the video. When you watch the video, actually, um, you can see, you can adjust, you can um, change and uh, you can adjust the pace so you need to do slicing and then you need to change the shift the code and then maybe um, your coding may be different from the original video and uh, you also need to provide the um, flow media so uh, we can make it directly connect to the cloud and uh, then it can also do the um, uh, we can run video transcoding rendering slicing at the edge managed as job and um, deployment let's take a look at the roadmap of the project actually we started from November 2018 and we announced the open source of this project and we provide a lightweight we are lightweight agent at edge and in the past versions we provide support for the edge equipment and also support the synchronization of the state data synchronization of state and uh, we also have a mesh layer for the communication between cloud and, uh, and edge and uh, we also support CRI and uh, the container D integration at 1.0 version um, we need to further do CSI because in the current version we deleted a lot of uh, storage type support in the edge we do not have um, AWS storage but for the clients we met they still need the demand for external storage and they also want to have cross-edge data sharing so before 1.0 version we already have done CSI and storage um, compatibility but we do not have enough had come to work on further work on it so it will be done later and uh, we will also have some remote control functions so that you can monitor the edge status and uh, we will further optimize the openness of the community also we have over 100 compute a uh, commu contributors but through previous um, survey people think that to become a 
contributor, there is some um, threshold, and uh, we will uh, further increase the guidance or files so that people can contribute to it. Due to time limit, previously I planned a demo, but I will not do the demo here. But you can go to our booth and take a look. And for the demo, uh, the demo is pretty simple. Uh, through Kube Edge, how to achieve the control of uh, equipment or have a communication with the equipment. Uh, and here WeChat is just a portal to enter and it's mainly on the cloud and we have a web server. Through web server, we you can select a song and a Coop Edge WeChat app will write the song name at uh, Kabas Master then we will synchronize the equipment um, update to the edge and then we will connect to a Bluetooth sound amplifier and then we can receive topic message from the subscription and uh, play music by the track so just to show you how to add the definition of um, an equipment and uh, how to update the equipment status and uh, for the demo you can go to our Huawei's booth and I will not show it here and the uh, last part is about the basic information we of our community you can see our website and uh, we have Slack channel and uh, for every two weeks we will have a meeting and uh, we will um, upload the meet, uh, meeting video to the YouTube and um, for domestic or Chinese um, friends you can scan the QR code and you can join on our group and we can have a further communication in the group so any questions from the floor? I want to ask why you choose to build an HD because other, after evaluation we think if we want to simplify or uh, remove some cubelet then we need to uh, cut a lot of um, mm, Cold, so we decide to write by ourselves. My Chinese is not so good. I will speak in English. Well,看到你的路线图，你们有，比如说就是后面的路径的话，有嗯一点X的版本。你如何做监控呢？现在的话，基本上你可以看到应用的状态，但是这个是不够的。我们想要支持 uh, Matrix API 然后你可以体验类似于像 Vanilla Kubernetes 这样的一个体验因为现在如果你用 um, Prometheus 那是 Broken 我们在 Cube Edge 里面没有 在华为云里面，这个我们里面有一个项目，但不是开源的，我们需要把它做到开源的项目里面去。Sorry, he's not using microphone. The interpreter cannot hear. Uh, 
I will repeat his question. First, the first question is about hedge, hedge notes management, how to provision notes. Actually, for the Coop Edge project, we do not do it fully because in Edge ecosystem, some other projects are taking care of it currently. Our starting point is that the Edge nodes need to focus on OS and the Coop Edge release pack. We have an installer. It can help you to install the components in the Edge node. For adding nodes, you can edit manually. You can uh, register on cloud and uh, create node object. An Edge D Edge Core. Then you are filling the Cloud Hub information. And for security, we have a very fundamental certificate based security. We will have a hierarchy. Um, security design. We have a prototype now. We have some discussion in the community. The main idea is that we will use um, SPAC in cloud to um, issue certificate. So when your cloud is disconnected with Edge, they are on the same certificate chain, they can still do the validation of um, certificate, but when it is disconnected, you cannot issue no new certificates, but at the edge, you still can do the certificate authorization and validation. It, it's ex extending from um, center to edge. So for edge, you just do the simple decision. Um, would you extend to the um, controlling of uh, external control? What And the actual status can be reported back through the uh, subfield. And the uh, risk condition, if you uh, change some field value, there may be some problem. Uh, 
就用 Qt Edge 呃云组件，呃进行做一个插件，然后你就可以用 H 呃 c u b e Edge 连接，在我们展台的这个演示当中呢，呃这个应用程序是在云的节点运行。呃，这个音乐播放器呢，是在边缘节点。嗯，谢谢。So, um, because time is up, I'd like to finish the session.